Hello friends, very good evening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Trade with AS and myself Bala here. And I'm welcoming you all to my the channel. And if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to channel to get more update on intraday and positional trading strategies. And this video, I'm going to discuss about some indicators, the best trading view indicators for your intraday and positional trading that I'm going to discuss here. So a lot of uh, people who are asking on my previous channel about the divergence, either RSI divergence, MACD divergence, a lot of divergence will available. So based on the divergence, so how we can find out a trade and that should be a good opportunity. And what is, first of all, we need to understand what is the divergence. And in this divergence indicator, so we can find out a right trade opportunity on the market low as well as highest level. So uh, this may be a new concept for my subscribers. And if you are not yet my sub not yet subscribe my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe the channel to get more update. Okay, so now I'm taking this chart of Nifty. It's about a five minute chart. So here, how I'm going to find out the divergence. So first of all, you can look at this here, then this price. This was the new low, the low, and the second one is a new low. Uh, that the low is already broken right but here this rsi look at that rsi here is the low but this low is a little slightly higher than the previous low or if you compare this and uh, in the stock must breaking the new low but the rsi doesn't break the previous low this is called a divergence right and the previous low is not broken okay and uh, before that the market is going higher so here you can see that a broken higher side but in the rsi it's looking lower side so if you want to find out such a kind of here also you can see and the rsi is not broken higher level but the price from here it broken the high so such a kind of thing how i am going to find out using a trading view indicator so a lot of indicators are available uh, to find out this factor but i have used one one indicator that was working well that i am going to discuss and even how we can effectively use that indicator that i am going to discuss in this video okay so let me go to add this indicator i think you are interested to know more what is that indicator so just i'm simply going to show you that indicator how you are going to so simply going to divergence uh for many indicators this will give you so a lot of uh, indicator which is inbuilt in the same let me go to add this and then uh, look at the creator name uh, lonesome d so those were the names so just adding that indicator will it is work for me whether i'm going to take a trade or not so already i told you at this point the divergence the price is making new low the rsa doesn't make a new low so that is called a divergence where i'm going to easily find out if that divergence which is happening at the lowest level or even highest level that may be the great opportunity for my intraday trades if it is happening at the lowest level after the second low so look at this the first low here and the second low where the rsi is divergence and even there is a small risky trade i can I play at this level so a lot of divergence you can see at this point how many divergence which is happening macd Okay, uh, so MACD histogram, RSI, stochastic, momentum, and uh, CMF. So almost six indicators showing you the divergence at this point. So if you want to check, you can add. So RSI, can I go for it? The previous high is this, and the new high is made. And but the RSI doesn't give you some uh, higher level. So it was a diverging, and the price is increasing. That point, it was where the particular thing is happening so the in a five minutes time frame you can uh, add whatever the time frame you want like a 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes even daily weekly so you can add and you can test it but this will give you the confirmations at this point almost six indicators which is diverging at this top maybe the reversal and also it is a recent uh, swing high and uh, having a good opportunity where i can find out this maybe a, maybe i'm going to take a the small risk just uh, for what is the risk involved in the trade if I'm going to take a sale opportunity at this point look at that uh, the low is uh, 79.22 and the high is just about a 20-23 point risk around 9.35 of 12th January 
and after that from the 23 pointers 811 from 922 811 more than 120 points it should be a 1 is to 5 maybe i'm just finding opportunities how you, maybe you are going to try to take a trade but it was working well and good for me if i'm going to focus so let me go to check at the cci at this point it is diverging at the top so reliable indicator so let i'm going to show you cci so let i'm going to show add that one so here at this point previous high and again here is the low at this candle and you can see the divergence i'm talking about cci and the price is breaking higher level and i'm going to do it just a second look at this the previous time in the price is greater than but here in the cca it's down so maybe i am not focusing for a cca and a histogram something other uh, some indicators like but most probably the rsi and macd divergence may be a good one and if i'm finding out uh, any opportunity on macd rsi which is diverging at a point so maybe the good opportunity i hope you understand what i'm uh, telling you at this point you look at that and this area around 9 30 of 11th january and we find out histogram rsi stratastic momentum mfi so a lot of indicators almost five indicators giving you the opportunity that the divergence okay the price making new low or the, the rsi not making uh, you know that high so maybe divergence which is happening at this point even and it was another important factor at this point it should be a doji candle and maybe if i'm focusing a uh, entry at this point with the stop loss below the doji maybe the very small risk which i can go for and this kind of strategy is not suitable for all the traders those who are watching market so it, it must be a trading uh, which is suitable for uh, those people who are watching full-time market but if you want to take the same thing uh, for the positional trades just increase your time frame and you may be going to get some lot of opportunities by using this method i'm going to change a daily time frame so you will be getting uh, where there is a divergence looking at this point so here histogram rsi something divergence but maybe uh, your stop loss at this candle and you can see after the breakout and after few days later it break down and it may be triggers your stop loss at this point you can get the daily time frame from 16,000 it went higher maximum of 18,000 2,000 points in daily time frame i'm talking about daily time frame and this one not giving you the opportunity and here is another uh, opportunity where i can find out so let me go and i just remove that indicator so you can find out where there is the opportunity at this point in the top macd histogram rsi and uh, another vwap macd volume weighted macd so four indicators showing you reversal and this point so maybe it, it will be using for your intraday trade and that may be a positional also you can use for it and stocks also it is working well and uh, you can stick random stocks like uh, uh, tata steel jindals whatever whatever the stocks you want you can back test it and maybe the good opportunity this is about a one hour time frame so maybe the risk is small but if a uh, trend change on the particular time frame it should be highly possible and you can use this indicator uh, after the stock made a huge low or the stock making a uh, huge stop so maybe if, if you find out any point of the time that uh, find out uh, kind of uh, divergence which is happening this was a 15 minutes and look at that anytime any anywhere uh, can you find out on the rsi divergence and macd divergence at uh, this point of the time you can see there is a lot more okay okay, okay. so that is a hatch that is used with that uh, trading view three and uh, here at this point from the top and it's a huge risky don't want to go for it but even if it is breaks it was going down and here another one so strata 6 cmf and mfi so divergence so simply where if you want to focus only rsi and you can uh, change it out whatever the thing you want sorry and here the divergence minimum divergence maximum number of year if i only want uh, the divergence with rsi just uh, uh, you just uh, remove divergence sorry uh, i just uh, go to macd histogram and you, you just remove all the things only rsi divergence very simply you can find out from here so let's look at this wherever the rsi divergence where you get it so you'll be getting at this point let's look at this point 
there is a good reversal still it not broken the low maybe investment kind of trade also i just simply planning with rsi divergence and let i'm going to show you another daily time frame is there any rsi divergence where i'm going to get in a lowest level i don't get it in a lowest level at this level i got it but that entry is not triggered so i don't want to take here and let me go for we pro so a lot of stocks you can try because it is a only the 10 minutes video which i'm going to share you what i'm going to try so here is the one maybe a stop loss and that one it was not triggered your stop the reason low if i'm making a stop still from the entry of 383 it went up to 416 and again there is another opportunity by 405 to 444 it's about a daily time frame and this is also working well may something is some and some some point of the time it is not giving you opportunity let me go to check clearly and you can see the rsi like a candle high if, if it is breaks i can go for it and the same low or a reason low i can keep a stop loss that may be giving you opportunity for intraday you just uh, go to take a trade when the rsi divergence which is happening at the nearby the day high or the previous candle should be the day high so that may be a great opportunity where you can try to take an intraday trade so let me go for uh, this is what a 12th december sorry 12th january the first candle is a hammer the second candle is divergence which is happening so you may be going to take a breakdown trade or below the low of that particular candle you can keep the stop loss on the same candle for intraday kind of trade so let me go to bank nifty what is happening in bank nifty what is working for a bank nifty and i just go for a bank nifty january futures and look at this this is the area but it was a huge one instead of that 15 minutes we can we go for a five minutes here there is a rsa divergence where i can go for a sale here at 42 234 maybe quickly coming down to 200 point and whenever the lowest level the same candle also you can take as a risk or a stop loss the low or a high for the candle you can try to take as a risk and if you want any other uh some other um that one like a sota check momentum obb so divergence simply you can find out the divergence where it is happening so highest level if you got it so you can go for it i hope uh, this video may be useful to you all and those who are watching the trading view charts and it may be uh, giving you some idea uh, to try to find out the divergence in the stock so maybe you are going to use this one and i hope you enjoyed that so if you like this video hit the like button if you want to more details about this indicator i already showed you and some parameters and other things if you want you can contact me through my whatsapp number which i provided here and thank you for watching this and if you have any other questions just comment on the comment box thank you so much for watching this thank you very much